Another key to healing your inner child is one that I've struggled with a lot. It's challenging for me at times. And this is patience. And not trying to hurry the process and rush the inner child. Because think about this, there's a child that has unhealed wounds that's experiencing a lot of pain. And you're trying to rush, not to feel bad about it, we all do it, right? But we try to rush the process. We want to get there, wherever there is. We want to get there as soon as possible, right away. Patience and commitment is challenging. It's not the easiest thing in the world to be able to, to achieve. But think about it, if there's a child in a lot of pain, sometimes the more you try to rush it, the more you try to hurry the process, the worse it is. And if, you're, if there's a broken relationship in your life, we know that to regain someone's trust, That it, it, it can take a little while. To be able to have a true, deep, beautiful connection, it takes some time and some effort. And if you're hurrying the inner child, you're sending it the message of maybe I don't accept you the way you are right now. We need to change quickly, fast. Instead of saying, let's do this together. I'm here with you, I'm here for you. And there's no rush. You can take as much time as you need to. Because I know I've ignored you for a very long time and I apologize, I'm really sorry about that. So please don't feel like I'm rushing you. And if it ever feels that way, let me know. But I'm here for you and we'll do that whatever pace feels good for you. Please show me what you need. Right, because we're learning as we go. We don't know what's... There's no perfect pace for everyone, perfect way to do this. That's why I share a ton of ideas with you so that the ones that resonate, you do them, you experience some healing, and then maybe other ideas will resonate after that. You do those, you experience more healing. But realize that you'll have to find the pace that feels good to you the pace that feels okay because there's no rush i mean there's no finish line the relationship can keep getting better and better and better for the rest of your life so i invite you to consider the idea that this might be a a lifelong commitment you're getting married to married to your inner child it'll be for the rest of your life so maybe let's try to not rush the process let's try to honor whatever time the inner child needs let's try to honor the healing process that it's going through I'm saying this for myself too, don't ever feel like I'm just telling you what to do. It's just an invitation for you and an invitation for me. I need these reminders throughout my journey as well. So that's another one of the keys to healing your inner child. A lot more coming down here. Love you.